So, am I audible? Yeah, so this is not the title of my presentation. So, it's like in all my previous speeches, I had to like ask this question. So, I thought I'll dedicate one slide for this, for this time. So, so, I would like to start my presentation with this quote from Oliver Wilde. It says, to live is the rarest thing in the world. Most people exist, that is all. Can someone tell me what this quote means? And like what does this quote translate to or like uh, you know, living the experience the living a life full less rather than just exist. Okay. So that quote so that so actually this so I don't I think we are all like too much immersed in the US because this is a US from I'm just talking about plain life here. So it's like some people just come they just wake up in the morning, go to a work. Some people live their life. So this is what Oliver Wilde has told about. So my presentation today is going to be about that. So next, I'm going to show a picture. So if someone can answer this, uh, I would say like just like on many posts in Facebook, their childhood was awesome. So what what do you see here? Can someone tell me? Yeah. So can someone tell me what's happening here? Uh -huh. So what what is the scene here? Or no one knows. Huh? Somebody playing that character with a different strings on the top. No. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, so you know the name of this character? Pinocchio. Uh, so I think only two people had, like two or three people had awesome childhood. <laughs> so what happened? In <laughs> so what is here? Who's the, so I'll tell you this, I'll tell you what's happening here. So this is Pinocchio. He's a wooden doll that was made by a carpenter who didn't have a child. So what happens is one night an uh, angel comes and gives life to Pinocchio. So Pinocchio becomes a living thing. So as a designer, our job does not end with making the wooden doll. So most of us just make this wooden doll and think that uh, we have designed something. But actually our job also includes the job of the fairy godmother. Like we have to give life to our designs. So that is what my ta uh, topic today is going to be about. It's called giving life to your design. So, Next, I'm going to ask you like what what do I mean by so I'm going to tell you what I mean by giving life to a, to a design. So I'm, so if you think that I'm going to tell you about how to like upload it into the Play Store, make it run on phones and something, no, that's not. I'm not going to tell, tell about that. I'm going to tell about giving like actual life to your applic applications. So next question, so next question I'm going to answer is why 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 do you think we need to give life to our designs? So. So for this, so as human beings, we all often have relationships with other human beings, or sometimes you know with cats or dogs, or in this case, Michael Jackson had you know a special relationship with a chimpanzee. So can you tell the name of this chimpanzee? It's Bubbles. Uh, so can can someone tell me why we have relationship with other living things? Can someone tell me? It's like, are there any two friends sitting together here? It's like anyone is anyone sitting here their friend? So okay. Each other. Uh, so why do you like your friend? Can you tell me like why do you like Amit? They've known each other since last four years. Mm -hmm. So it's quite comfortable. We can discuss more things regarding the discussion of what's going on. Is there something special you like about like? Is there something uh, some? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean that. <laughs> no, is, there, is, there, is there some characteristic of Amit that you like or something? Yeah, it's a jolly person, always laughing. Yeah. Ah, so that's it. So all, all we like other people, other living things because they have certain char characters. So it's like I like my friend because he, he makes fun of me or something. We, we, we all have characters. <laughs> so it's like, uh, so how? So next question I'm going to ask Andrew is how? How are we going to give life to a design? So we are going to do this by using two interactions. So one is called micro interactions and one is called uh, free interactions. So first, what is a micro interaction? So the next person, I'm going to show you a picture of a person who plays an important role in everyone's life. Can you identify him? Uh, so, so this is the security of, say, my office. So he is the guy. It's like when I come to office, he is my, he just we don't have any interaction. He doesn't sit in my appraisal meeting or anything, but he just says hi. So it's like if I'm work, working late night, he asks, uh, "Do you have uh, extra work today?" So even my boss does not know I, I work late, but the security would know something. So, uh, so this person, the interactions that we have with this person are like very micro. 
we, we, we don't talk, talk to him much or something, we just have like one word interaction with him. But still, it makes our uh, you know, life path work better. Why? Because it's like uh, something, uh, so this is what the interaction that I'm going to, are going to do to your application. So, uh, I was telling you some time ago that we like our friend because of certain characteristics. So, today, for this short talk, I'm going to like show you how we can add like five characteristics to our application using uh, using these micro interactions. The first characteristic is expressive. So, can someone tell me like uh, how you react when you are happy? Like what face? Like what do you do when you are happy? Show your teeth. Smile, right? You show your teeth. Okay. So, what if you ah? Uh, you show your teeth. So, what if you do this? You just take a board and say, "I am happy." I mean, do, do you think? Individual perception. But do you think? Yes. Uh, so it's it's like so you, it's like there should be some expression. So it's like if your friend just comes and says, "I'm happy," I'm angry. So it's like you won't uh, feel that really? connection with him. So that's the so and even a research that was done in Colorado University says that a feedback that that is like it was just reading or seeing. So a feedback that you like hear and see, you react faster to it. So for this, I'll take some certain examples that most of you know. The best first example I'm going to show you is the lock screen of this iPhone. So instead of like just displaying that you entered the wrong password, the password block actually shakes, showing you that there is a mistake. So this is one way of doing it. Or in another example, so this is the inbox of uh, Windows Phone. So if there is something wrong with the message, so it's like this happy face turns into a sad face. So these are so these are like small things that you could do to make people you know to give life to your application. So the second characteristic that I'm going to talk about is helping the user, helping out the user in need. So can you like explain this scene? Yeah. So it's like you. So when you're in the exam, it's like you don't have to call your friend and say that show me. It's like you just and he answers. So. Yeah, yeah, it is that lot. So, so these are like small, small things that you know make your like you know even if you are not prepared, you know your friend is there. So, some in the some examples of uh, software here is like this is called the RDIO player. So instead of like in so when you want to play the next song, instead of just you know having a button here, so when you hover on this, they just show you like what is the next song that's coming up. So this based on that you could you could make a decision or something. So another example here is, so this is a timestamp in GitHub. So it's like, it's a, so when you hover on this, say it's three years ago, when you hover on this, it actually shows you the exact timestamp. So, so the next, uh, the next characteristic that I'm going to talk about is the application being thoughtful. So this is like this dog that you know you have, which knows that you read the newspaper every morning, so it brings it to you. So, so this is the example of the search in Chrome. So it's like when you search, instead of just showing you the number of words or instead of just highlighting the word, in the scroll bar also it highlights the, you know, the, it highlights the, uh, where, the, where the words are exactly present. So based on that, it makes your searching easier. Or this is Book My Show where, you know, you just select the name of the movie and immediately this drop down comes down because it knows that you are going to do that next. So this is the, uh, so this is, is it 5 minutes or 5 minutes more? 5 minutes more. Okay. So, so this is, uh, when you are entering this payment thing, so most people don't know what is the CVV. So it's like when you are when you come here, it automatically highlights that this is the CVV. So these kind of things. So next one is being intelligent. So can, can you identify this man? <coughs> so what is the character? Fox. Yeah, Fox. Fox. So it's like immediately after telling about that bat, mm -hmm. he says yes, it comes in black because he knows if that's going to be the next question. So this kind of intelligence is shown in like Gmail when you write when your email has the attached file and your message does not have any file attached, <coughs> it 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 acts like Fox. Or this is like when, when there's a slow internet like on our presenter here page. So it asks instead of like buffering, just download it and they want to do that. So and here. This in this application called Insta Paper. So if you like, if you go to quote it and immediately switch it back, so it identifies it was the action and asks if it wants to lock the rotation. So in this, it's like so you are typing a document and you want to save it. So it immediately takes the title of the document as the file name because that's in most cases. So next characteristic, it's like it's making your application like made for each other. 
like these two characters in from the movie up. So here it's like, say this is from IMDB. So you know that IMDB is uh, like that movie lovers are going to see. So the error message here is a movie code. So this kind of thing, you know, so this makes the application, the a movie lover feel like he's, you know, invited. So this is again from Book My Show where, see this is a site that Indian for Indian movie fans for booking gift. So the words used here like Paltu are all Indian. So it's like when you ask a person how the movie says Paltu. So it's something like, so these kind of words that they have used. So next in the next part of my presentation is going to be about free interaction where how many of you have played with this? <laughs> so these things are, so these are like small small things that you, you know, so you, you just, you give that and I, it's like I won't even ask for anything for the next half a day. So what does it do for your application? So what do micro interactions do, sorry, free interaction do for your application? <coughs> the answer will shock you. It's going to do nothing for your application. It's just going to be there like, just like those uh, balls that you put. And you know, it actually, but it establishes emotional connection and it uh, helps you, it's been proved that it helps you release nervous energy when you do this kind of stuff. So the example here we see is like this lock screen in Android. So when you are scrolling, so it knows that there is nothing to scroll after this point, but still instead of just having it there, it actually, sh they show you animation, like it's turning. So when you are bored, you will find like when you are going in a bus, like say it took three hours for me to reach home from here. So it's like you end up like, you know, playing with this kind of stuff in your phone. So, so next, so another example here is like, so when your users, you know, your people are like monkeys. So it's like when you're reading something, you get bored and you move your mouse around or you try to hover something. So when you hover on this logo of this thing, the logo just rotates. So it's like a Easter egg for you, like, so you remember this site for that. So this is an error message in Mac OX. So when you click on this, it plays a sound. So the author had written that a uh, friend of that there was a friend uh, you know friends of him who used to uh, play this song just uh, intentionally by doing creating some errors. So and this is the pearl of the you know blackberry pearl. So people like when they are waiting for a meeting or something they play with their fingers or so these kind of stuff, so these kind of stuff are actually having no impact on your phone. Like by, so when your phone is locked and when you are turning this nothing is going to happen to your phone. Or even in this example, by hovering on the logo, nothing is going to happen to the website. Or even in this example, by putting, they are going to do nothing. It's just that uh, interactions that are free, that they don't do any application to your, so they don't do anything to your application. So these are called free interactions. <coughs> so, but, uh, so when you uh, design your sites or something, so you remember these kind, so, you know, pay attention to these kind of details and add, so have at least one of these in your application and try to like, don't copy them, but try to create signatures for your product. Like for example, uh, when, so it's like, it need not be this kind of thing. For your phone, when you come up with a uh, scroll or something, maybe try to create something that uh, shows your brand, brand identity. So, <coughs> so this, but remember, you know, while making this like, don't have like a million free interactions or micro interactions in your application everywhere. So just have like one or two of them and so I would like to finish my uh, presentation with this quote from John Wooden. It's the little details that are vital. Little things make big things happen. So if you want to read more on this, you can buy this book from called Micro Interactions. It's by Don, Don Schaffer. Or you can read about this in Cooper Journal. Or you can, so this site I think most of you will be visiting. It's, it's called Little Big Details. So every day they post some you know, inspirations of like these kind of small, small details that you could add to your stuff. <laughs> right, right.